the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom Well, we've been in West Palm Beach now for a few days and it was really special coming into West Palm Beach because this is where we kind of started our big Atlantic adventure. We began our adventure in July 2017 and that's when we came down the east coast of the US but it wasn't until we got to West Palm Beach that we really started the real real nitty-gritty adventure across the Atlantic. So last time we were here we were provisioning to cross the northern Atlantic and it, we were just different people. Coming back here with the new perspective that we've gained from the past three years of this journey is surreal. My goal right now is to actually bike to a post office because I've done two painting commissions that need to be given to their owners. This is a portrait and uh, these are some chickens and these commissions were from you guys so I love to do painting commissions I do portraits I do animals and I do boats if you have a commission that you'd like to get in touch with me for um, my email is in the description of this video and this is what I do this is my passion so do get in touch Got some poop on your back there. Who did that? This is where our blue water adventures started. Like they really began because from here we went to the Bahamas, then we came back here, we provisioned to Publix, and then we went straight back out into the ocean and crossed it and went to you know Bermuda and the Azores and Europe and the Med and just everything. It all started here. Just the idea of like returning and we made it. And now it's just the perfect place to start our next adventure. Well, it's dead low tide and we're stuck. So it's a floating dock, but we're on the bottom. So we're gonna try and just untie the boat and muscle it off because it's a soft bottom and see if we can get out of here. Leaving West Palm Beach. Ow. <laughs> Issue. We're on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is our rudder. That didn't sound good. <laughs> 
So we're gonna see if we're actually leaving West Palm Beach right now. Yeah, it's, uh, Good news is the tide is coming up. Yes, tide is rising. You got the back end, I'll keep it going. We're out of here now. Stay on it, don't let up. Stay on it. We're on it. I love boat people. We uh, <laughs> got off the pier and then instantaneously ran aground right off the pier. And uh, our new friend Jim just came over and pulled us off with his dinghy, twisted us around, and now we are ready for the opening of the next bridge. So they're just, sailors helping sailors is a very common thing in, in the sailing community. And it's just one of the many, many reasons why I'm so glad that we're living this lifestyle. Okay, we made it through the bridge. They're now closing and we're motoring at 65 amps. So 2.8 kilowatts for people who like that number. <laughs> and we're just going along. Full batteries, so no generator, which is awesome. We got eight miles to go. We got a little bit against the current. And then once we pass the inlet, then we're in the clear when the current's actually gonna be pushing us. We're about to pass the inlet that we went out of to cross the Atlantic. And it's just, it's a really uh, surreal moment because we remember these waters really well and we remember them as the final US waters that we sailed through before our huge adventure. It's just magical to be back and going north again. We have 34 minutes left of motoring to get up there. And at this rate, we have an hour and 16 left of the batteries. So, pretty good. And then once we're past the inlet, we can throttle back, because then the current's gonna be pushing us. Oh, it's name, sorry. We've made it to the inlet, babe, but it's gonna take us about five hours to get there at this speed. So, generator, get some more speed out of us. Must we? Okay, the noise box is going, but now we got power again, so that's the important part. So we're gonna keep making our way up, and 4.4 uh, miles to go to get to the anchorage. We've had really bad luck today on the ICW. Pretty much all the bad things have happened. We ran aground. There is no sun today, so our solar panels aren't giving us any charge for our electric motor, which is very low because we revved so much trying to get off the ground. And uh, our generator is having issues as well. So we're having trouble putting power back into our batteries and we kind of need those in order to get to our anchorage. Before and sing chemistry. 
Right side of the barn is the better place for me to hit. <laughs> Do we got a line? Yes. Thank you, sir. Ah. You guys Damn. probably went right by her. She's in a mooring over here. Yeah, she was down in West Palm on a mooring. Oh, okay. okay. she We just listed her with a broker, but she's been ah. sale for a while. So yeah. we were when we were doing work before that. Yeah. Yeah, we were gonna anchor near you. Oh, you sleep in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I just took all the sheets off to do the laundry, but yeah, that's, that's crazy. Like, the Viva, right? we've just been putting all of our extra that, stuff. That yeah. We haven't, like had yeah, so that's place. Like Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I'm here in Tula's Endless Summer's boat, which is called. Uh, well, it's not really ours, so we don't really have a name. Oh, though. this isn't yours? <laughs> no, we're just borrowing it. Oh, but cool. When we open bridges, it's either Transformer or just Tula. Whatever oh, okay. That day. I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> we ran into these guys here at uh, at our newest anchoring in, where are we even? Old Port Cove, like North Palm Beach. Okay, North Palm Beach. <laughs> I'm really batting 100 here. <laughs> As you can see, I just woke up, and uh, we're really excited to meet these guys because they also have a YouTube channel, as you probably know, and uh, they just uh, seem like really cool people. Well, we just had a lovely lunch on shore, and we're planning on setting up a mooring this afternoon because we are leaving the boat for a whole month of May and we want to make sure that we're leaving it in a very safe and secure manner. We have a friend who's going to be watching our boat so we feel really good about this area. We just need to set up a mooring that's going to be super secure and give us peace of mind while we're gone. So we're going to go sound an area and just plot out, make sure that we'll have enough swing room, make sure we know where we want to put the hooks and then we'll run out and run those hooks. I found the spots where I want to put the where I want to put our hooks. Whoops, coming in. <laughs> I GPS, like I put pins there. So all we have to do is go back and put the hooks right there. But I just want to run the claw anchor that we have around just to make sure that there's no cables or other people's anchors or just something that's going to make a mess in the future when we go to retrieve ours. It's hooking on stuff. It's not chains or ropes. It's just really good holding down here. So do you want to do a Bahamian mooring or yeah. a star so, mooring? Uh, well, we can do a star. We can throw in a third anchor. The advantage of the star mooring is that we then have always have an anchor. An anchor, like in three every, points. Yeah, so they never shift. Yeah. Which uh, is nice. The only disadvantage to the star mooring is that one's going to be rope. But we have the anchor. So we have we the have mooring a, chain, the regular chain, yeah. and rope. Yeah. So it'll be the mantis and the fortress hooked up end to end in mooring chain. The boat comes down with the shackle and the, the swivel to the middle of that then we just tie to one of them the rope which will run out to the bruce yeah in a third direction and since we're going to be running the dinghy around it an extra anchor is just extra security we keep all our mooring chain down here so it looks like there's about six inches of water in that chain locker and i really think it's the water that kind of like dripped in when we were crossing the atlantic last time so we're going to pump it out I'm hoping that this manual bilge pump will reach the head and then I'll just pump it out with the sump pump. Otherwise, we need to like do it out the hatch. I have arrived! Here's your chain. Is this Is your chain? Is that your chain? Oh reach down and grab this. I got more to get. This is it. Lean down or no? Well, then I won't have any. <laughs> That's fine. Thing. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh. It is gross. This was a horrible plan putting seizing wire in all of these shackles because we don't want the screws to turn just a little bit and then we lose all our ground tackle. So the big difference between mooring chain and regular chain is just the length of the link. So mooring chain is ridiculously long. Each link is ridiculously long and that lets you put shackles in anywhere. So you can pretty much make whatever arrangement you need at any point. 
or regular chain, the links are much closer together. And then, well, you can only attach at the beginning and the end. And this is fine if you're doing anchor to boat, but if you want to do anchor to another anchor to another anchor and the boat somewhere else, like you just, you can't do that. That's where you need mooring length. Now the thing that's super important is to have seizing wire on your shackles because this screw, it can just come unscrewed. And then it comes apart, and then no matter how good your ground tackle is, it falls apart. By having that seizing wire in, it makes it so that the screw just can't actually turn. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Jerry. Now that the Danforth is in the water, we can pull up our mantis. The mantis is going to attach to the mooring chain. While we are attaching the mantis to the mooring chain, we're going to be floating on our Danforth. So next step, mantis on the mooring, and then both anchors will be attached to the mooring chain. Okay, so now we have the fortress anchor is this one comes up, goes to the shackle with the swivel here, and then this continues into the boat's regular anchor, uh, regular anchor chain. And then the other one, which is here, comes down into our mantis anchor, which is currently in the dinghy. So I'm gonna run it out in a different direction, and then between those two anchors, we'll be really well set. And that's just the beginning. We're actually gonna throw a third one in just for fun. Okay, we set up the mooring the day before yesterday. It's a star mooring, so three anchors, and we feel really comfortable because we spent an entire 48 hour period on the mooring, and it helped, and it's great. So we feel safe leaving the boat. We're about to go for one month to Baltimore, and we're so excited because of COVID. We haven't seen our families. We haven't been back to Baltimore in over a year. And the ex extra exciting part is when we come back to this boat, we'll have more to eat. I am so excited. I've not seen my parents since like 15 months. It's yeah. just too long. And my sister has had a baby <laughs> who's now like crawling, maybe walking. I don't know what speed babies do stuff, but like, there's a whole nother kid. I have a niece and I haven't even met her. So um, I need to go back. Yes. So we've rented a car. Every time we leave the boat, we have like a plague when we come back. It's been spiders, it's been tiny flies, it's been uh, mold. So this time around, we cleaned everything, made it as spotless as we could. And we're praying, praying, praying that when we come back, we will not have a plague. But if we do have a plague, we now have a shop vac, so it won't be so bad. Jerry, no. Bye, Wisdom! Be safe!
The time has come to build our lithium battery bank. I'm it's never good to forget things, especially with this much power. Inquiring minds may want to know how we're going to attach this nickel strip to all of these batteries. Now this just weighs a very light sum of 80 pounds. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.